So this little rock, DA14, is coming alarmingly close to the surface of our planet, and we're fortunate that it's not going to hit us, but it should serve as a, uh, a bit of a shot across the bow from the solar system telling us, hey, you got to look out for this stuff. My name's Kevin Hand. I'm a planetary scientist and astrobiologist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, uh, and I was a 2011 National Geographic Emerging Explorer. And to give you a sense of, of how close DA-14 is uh, going to come to the Earth on February 15th, it's only 18,000 miles. DA-14 is passing within the distance of many of our Earth uh, observing and telecommunication satellites. If this DA-14 were to come down and, and hit uh, somewhere in a, in a major metropolitan area, uh, hundreds of thousands to potentially millions of people uh, would be killed. For objects that are less than 100 meters, and this is the type of object that DA-14 is, uh, the estimates are that there are more than one million uh, such, such objects. Okay, so what do you do if you find one that's on a uh, trajectory that's going to lead to a direct impact with the Earth. We would send some sort of probe out to this object, uh, and that probe would either uh, knock into it or attach to it and then, and then fire some rockets uh, to give this the, the rock a little bit of a nudge to change its trajectory. And once you uh, put the thruster on the back end, you've kind of got a remote-controlled asteroid. But really what we need are, are some space-based assets to go and, and look around in all directions, basically, to sort of serve as our, as our space guard for, uh, for these objects that are hard to find um, and very um, populous.